Right, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to be constructing a line that is going to have the same length as the circumference of the circle. Right, to start with, I must first make sure that my ruler is exactly in line with that line in the center. Once I've done that, I'm going to take it down to the point P over here, and I'm going to draw a construction line coming out from point P. I then take my pair of compasses, I set them to exactly the length of the diameter of that circle, and I arc it down onto the line once, I go there, twice, three times. Once I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 60 degree set square, and I'm going to draw a line going from the center up to the circle over there. I then take my ruler and I take it across to that center line over there. Once I've got that, I'm going to draw a line connecting that last arc that I had over here to that point over there. And that will give me a line that is exactly the length of the circumference. Right, once I've got that, I need you to do the dimensioning of that line. Um, what you need to do there is you take your two set squares, line them up on that line, or line the, the set square up on that line, take your other set square underneath it, slide it back a little bit, take this set square around, still holding this securely, place it down there, you're going to take a 0.3 pencil, and you're going to draw a line which is going to go almost down to the line, leaving a millimeter gap there. Turning it around, draw a line, also leaving a millimeter gap between the end of the line. Okay, 0.3 pencils needed over there. I'm going to take my set square back to the base of this. I'm going to slide it up and I'm going to draw a dimensioning line also with my 0.3 pencil. And I'm going to draw in arrowheads over here. touching those extension lines that I just drew in. Once I've done that, take my set square back. I'm going to slide it up one millimeter above that line over there. I'm going to draw another line about three millimeters above that. I then take my set square and I'm just going to measure off whatever the measurement for this line is. And I see that it is 138 millimeters. So I'll write in over here 138. 